Welcome to LearnWire. In this video, we're going to be doing a follow-up to a, a couple of videos ago. I showed you a workflow with WordPlay and Writer's End. We went and did some keyword research and content clustering, uh, keyword clustering. Then we came into WordPlay and we added 20 articles to get done. It did finish the same day. I'm recording this video the same day that I actually submitted those articles. So July 1st. So it probably took a couple hours to get this or maybe an hour. Um, to get these created. So uh, 20 articles, uh, you know, one advantage, it is pretty cool. You can go order 20 articles and have them done within an hour. Um, rather than if you hire somebody, you're going to have to wait days to get that back. Um, and then also it's going to cost a lot less to have uh, a tool like WordPlay or others. So uh, many of you wanted me to take some of these articles. I haven't even looked at them, so we'll see what they look like. And then we're going to go into a neuron writer and use this to do to see what they look like inside um, just pasting them in we want to see what the content um, what neuron writer thinks of the content um, and so we'll just go and remember we had all these keywords right here we got them from the the clustering over here right uh, so then we're going to take we're going to take those and we went over into here and i'm going to say view articles and let's go with auto detailing uh, durango um, a boulder uh, car detailing, uh, do do do. Just kind of kind of look through here. I wish I would have put uh, Colorado or CO in right here. So I just want to see if it knows what we're talking about. So this one I would probably redo. It's just not going to be SEO'd enough. Um, I'm going to skip through a boulder car detailing. Let's see if it talks about boulder. So it talked about rock climbing requires not physical strength. So that is not what we want to talk about. So that article is no good. Um, I'm going to come through here and car detailing Aurora, Colorado, this one, and let's see right here, Aurora area right here. So I think that they, they've got it on here and then they have final words over here. So this one is decent. I'm going to go ahead and just copy this. We're going to copy. Actually, I just need to go car detailing Aurora, Colorado. I'm going to copy that. We're going to go into neuron writer over here, new analysis. We're going to throw this one in push start. It's going to go out and. It doesn't take too long for them to do the analysis. We'll be back in a sec. Okay, so the difficulty is 24, a little bit more on the difficult side. Let's go push on view, open this up, and just kind of look. We've got Yelp. Um, there's a thousand words, so we're going to go ahead and keep that one in there. And I'm just going to keep it with standard right now and just push next. Go back into WordPlay. And I've tried the quick copy, but it doesn't seem to copy it the way that I want. It copies HTML. So I'm going to come through in here, go like that. And let's see, uh, we definitely have enough words and then it's going to give us a 36 and huh, kind of interesting. So I go with this number right here. We already are at a 36 score. If you look and scroll through here, you're going to see that we're, we have a lot in green, which is good. Um, I would spend some time working on trying to add some more of the, uh, non-used keywords, the ones that are in black and try to add those in. But overall, uh, not too not too bad of a score. And what we can do is go car detailing Aurora, Colorado. If that's our main keyword, we're going to go after. Uh, I want to see if this will go up. Many of you said that this should go up after you add a meta description um, and title in here. So it just went up uh, dramatically by adding that in. Um, so I'm not really sure uh, if that just kind of interesting because I don't think by just adding the title, because we already know that we're going to be adding the title no matter what. Um, this is just to get the tool uh, to raise the score. Um, so I don't really know if this is, I mean, in a way it's kind of deceiving. Um, we could add a description right here as well. Okay, so I filled that out. So now we have a 58 because we um, did the meta description like you guys had, were telling me to. But then it just doesn't seem right because now we're at a 58 score. We're even better than top score and the top. And now this, now we have to keep in mind, this is just from a content standpoint. This is not, you know, this the website that I would be publishing this to has no authority whatsoever. So it's probably not going to rank in the top five uh, because the keyword is competitive. But this would just give you an idea of where your content is at um, right out of the gates. We can come up here and look at some of those sites by clicking up here, the top analysis and looking at some of these sites. So the Moz page authority. So we have a 23 right here, ranked number three. So that's not too bad. And then another 23 right here. So uh, this shows me and there's even a ranked number nine right here. 
Um, and we're looking at Colorado and this one that's Phoenix auto detailing is actually ranking, uh, for something in Colorado, which is really interesting. So, um, I do think that I guess that by looking at this and I like this about neuron writer, you're able to come in here and get the domain authority from Moz, um, the page authority, sorry, the page authority and then domain authority. So we have an opportunity right here, right here, anything under 30 or a 25 right here, we have an opportunity, but their content score is at a 72. And then for season, like right here, there's a great opportunity score right here. Um, and their content score is not very good, right? So our content score in comparison with the tool would be better than most of these if we want to completely outrank. Now, I don't really know. They have really good content right here is what they're saying. And the on-site content length right here, we're seeing some really big uh, pieces of content. I want to go and look at this right here. I'm going to open this up. Does this really have 8,000 words on this page to rank for a little tiny keyword? That is very interesting. So this is like their, they have listings. So this is um, company product listing. I don't see 8,000 words. Um, I guess because of the next bar, it's doing something kind of interesting. I need to install my words, how many words um, that somehow I uninstalled that. Um, it's a little tool that you can right click and it'll tell you, you can just say, show me how many words that has. It really comes in handy. So there's a discrepancy for sure. Um, this definitely doesn't have 8,000 words. Um, on site word count. Oh, wait. On site, they need to. Content length and word count. Okay. So content length, maybe that's character wise. And then word count. I was looking at the wrong, um, the wrong column guys. Sorry about that. So the one that we just looked at was right here. So 1500 words. That sounds about right. So this will tell you, I mean, there's pages that only have a hundred. I mean, there's a Facebook page right here. And then there's a, this site right here has 126 words, right? So um, we will see, um, I'll optimize it a little bit and we will, uh, these guys have some good content, 72 score right there. Um, so we'll have to optimize this to see if we can get on the first page. Let's go do one more, um, one more real quick. So I'll go back into here. I'll always just go back in here and push save. And then if I have actually publish the article, I'll go ahead and they have this uh, little feature, uh, mark as done. You can mark this as done. So then you're not, you, you can see from the dashboard, which articles you still need to kind of work on and publish or whatever. So really cool, especially if you're working with virtual assistants, they give you access to hand, uh, give them access as well. So we're going to go ahead and just push save. We'll come back up here to the project home. We'll go back to wordplay and we'll find another one that has Colorado in here. Uh, there's castle rock, uh, car detailing in Colorado Springs. Um, Let's go with the Castle Rock one preview and let's see here. So I want to say control find. So some of these um, I'm just not sure I'm going to be able to use because there's nothing that says Colorado or anything like that in here. And it doesn't really even have our main keyword in here either. So I, what I probably would do is recommend guys with this test, if you're going to do this, especially for local listings, uh, you definitely need the CO or the Colorado in there. So I can use the ones that have um, Colorado. So we'll go right here and Littleton. I'm going to highlight that control find. <clears throat> and you can see that it's in there six times um, counting the, the title. So five times. So SEO is going to be a lot better on this one. So I'm going to go ahead and grab that right there. We're going to go back into Neuron Writer, do a new analysis for this one and throw that in there. Push start and let it go do its thing tell us what the keyword difficulty will be and you can see it in real time it's at 10 percent over here and then 18 percent it only takes about 30 seconds to uh, do the analysis um, actually that was about 15 seconds so we'll push view this one's the same difficulty we'll push view on this and we'll come back and copy this content right here throw that in and it is an h2 so i do like how it's already formatted for us and let's see if this is also the H1. Yep. So we'll just come in right out of the gates. We're at a 30. But after we go and put in our meta, it's already going to go up, right? <laughs> Even if we add in the description. So it's saying we have um, good enough content to, to publish. Now, I'm not really sure about that, guys. What do you guys think? You guys saw me with one click go and get some copy from, uh, from WordPlay. 
and then I'm pasting it in here into Neuron and within the top 10, it's saying the content's good enough to rank in the top 10. I'm just not really sure I'm convinced yet that any um, AI writing tool is just right out of the gate is ready to just publish. Um, but as you can see here, there are a lot of green keywords that are being used, but I would want to just raise, maybe spend time, maybe make a rule of thumb. If this is already over the score that you need, <clears throat> make a goal of raising it 10 more. Uh, maybe that would just be a goal. Spend 10 minutes adding a few of these in here and we are, we have enough uh, content. Uh, maybe make, make that a uh, rule of thumb is just to see if you can raise the score by 10 uh, from what it's naturally giving you. And then you're probably going to have really good content. So this was just a follow up. Uh, some of you were interested in um, what Neuron uh, Writer uh, basically uh, says what their score is about some of this word play uh, content. So hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did hit that like button and make sure to subscribe to LearnWire so you get more tutorials, reviews, and good content. We'll see you in the next video.